All right, Metal Max, once again, coming at you from Mad with Power Fest at the Red Zone. And I'm, I'm now happy to be joined by two of the uh, main members of, of A Sound of Thunder. I've got... Uh, Nina. Nina and... Josh. Nina and Josh from A Sound of Thunder. How's it going, you guys? Fantastic. Happy to be at Mad with Power. Well, we're happy that you're that you're here at Mad with Power. If I know Ty pretty good, he uh, he get, he got some uh, pretty good quality acts, and you guys are no exception to that rule. So, tell us, uh, tell everybody, like, uh, where do you all hail from? Uh, we're from D.C. and uh, Northern Virginia. Ah, okay, Washington D.C. area. So, uh, you're not too far from the White House, then, huh? Uh, no, in fact, we put a burning Washington, D.C. on our new album cover. Oh, nice. Awesome. Well, let's, let's, talk, about, let's talk about you guys. You know, like uh, how long the band has been together and, uh, you know, how it formed, stuff like that. Uh, we'll start with you. All right. Uh, well, I joined A Sound of Thunder a month after I got married, which was nine years ago this year. So we're uh, nine years old now. Uh, Jesse joined a year after. So uh, the full band is uh, eight years old this year. Eight years old. Congratulations. Yeah, we're uh, a testament to the effectiveness of Craigslist. So the drummer and I got together uh, ten years ago. Uh, we played in a cover band briefly, and we real quickly figured out we wanted to do original music. And uh, we uh, found Nina on Craigslist. She was in another band, and she got mad at him one day and was like, screw you guys, I'm going on flying, I'm going to find another band. So she found us, and then the real challenge was, uh, oh man, we auditioned like a million bass players, but finally we got, we got the right one, which is Jesse. Well, that's, that's great to know. So describe what you guys sound like, like who are your influences? Uh, yeah, talk about that. Uh, start with you. I'd say we're a combination of Iron Maiden, Dio, Black Sabbath, and Judas Priest. I'd say that's pretty fair. Um, yeah, I heard some of your stuff online already, and I gotta say, it's uh, it's definitely heavy. Way more heavier than, say, the likes of Evanescence or Lacuna Coil. Definitely, yes. You know? I mean, uh, the type of music you could have seen on Headbangers Ball back in the day. Thank you. So... Um, and now, and now you, and, and as I re remember, uh, um, uh, when you were chosen for Mad with Power Fest, uh, how did it make you guys feel? Oh, awesome. We've been hearing about this, uh, this fest for a while. We had met Ty from Lords of the Trident who books the show. He was super nice. And Lords of the Trident is almost like a sister band to us. They're an independent Kickstarter funded band too. And A Sound of Thunder is Kickstarter funded. So we have just a lot of respect for them and happy to be playing with them. Happy to hear that. Yeah, well, uh, they're good guys, and uh, Ty knows good talent when he sees it. Uh, so, so yeah, um, tell me, do you guys have anything uh, current that's out right now? Any, like, uh, talk about that. Yeah, we just put out our seventh full-length album. It's called It Was Metal. And uh, it's up everywhere on uh, Spotify and Amazon and iTunes, and uh, you can get it on our website, A Sound of Thunder Band. But it's a, it's a full-length record. Um, it's our first one in a few albums that's just straight-ahead metal, a lot of fast Iron Maiden, Judas Priest-influenced type songs. And uh, Any covers? We did a full-length covers album. Our sixth album was a covers record. So we're going to play one cover tonight, and we've got some experience doing covers. Can I ask what cover, or do you want to keep that secret? It's up to you, my friend. Do you want to know what it is? Okay. It's Gypsy by Merciful Fate. Okay. I, I can get behind that. You hear that, everyone? For those of you who didn't bother to show up tonight, you know, they're, this, this band here is going to play a Merciful Fate cover. Shame on you for not being here. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so your current album is called what again? It's called It Was Metal. All right, and, uh, and how long has it been out now? Uh, how long? Uh, so three months? Two months? Two months. Nice. I, th I think it's great, you know, because, uh, you know, a lot of bands that are playing here tonight are either in the process of coming out with new albums, and uh, you're one of the ones that already have one out. Though I do suspect you guys do tend to write on the road when you feel the urge to do so, correct? Absolutely. Yes, we're always writing. 
Yeah, we write pretty quickly. We've done an, pretty much an album a year for the last seven years. So you could probably have another one out by this time next year then. We're, we're planning the next one right now, actually. Okay, that's good. That's awesome. So, well, uh, we're wrapping this up. Tell me, uh, you know, what... You know what can uh, what can people expect from you uh, after this after Matt with Powerfest? Uh, more shows, perhaps, uh, or are you going to be uh, taking some time to uh, for yourselves and eventually going to write something new? Uh, a little of both. We're going back to Europe in October. We're going to be playing a bunch of shows in Catalonia, uh, region uh, between France and Spain, and. Um, after that, we're going to go into, yeah, probably project mode. We're going to be recording some new stuff, a couple more covers, and we've got a big project we're working on that's uh, comic book related. Ooh, I can't wait to hear more about that. Yeah. So I can't, can't fully unveil the details of that, but it does it also involve more new music. Oh, well, that, that, that sounds awesome for sure. So, yeah. Um, now, would it be out of line to ask what bands you'll be playing with overseas? Oh, we're uh, we're really fortunate um, that we get to headline in in Catalonia. We were lucky enough to have a hit over there with um, a version of their national anthem. So we can go play and and headline clubs in Catalonia, and it's fantastic. So I, I don't know all the bands that we'll be playing with. They'll be um, local bands, um, but I will say that the local bands in Catalonia were fantastic. They're like all professional level, super talented people. Awesome! Some more uh, new talent for me to check out at some point. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, I, I look forward to seeing your guys' set in a little bit, and uh, I'm sure it'll be just as kick-ass as what I've heard online over the past course of the week. Um, so with that being said, this is Metal Max, and I've been hanging out with uh, A Sound of Thunder. And uh, you, heard, you heard these guys first, and you'll see some awesome band footage later on. All right, thanks so much.